I think gas has a long-term future. Uh, it is uh, flexible, abundant, uh, and we, we see resources basically all over the world. But we need to be more effective as an industry to build the markets, to, to establish new customers, and also at the same time continue to produce gas more efficiently so that we can compete against uh, alternative fuels. When it comes to the, the challenge of climate change, we need to solve the dual problem of produ producing or challenge to produce more energy and at the same time reduce CO2 emissions. And in that context, natural gas is critically important. As we discussed earlier, gas has a, a long-term future. BG estimates that LNG, for instance, will grow by between 4 and 6% per annum over the next few years. But there might be issues and more noise over the next couple of uh, uh, years because there are new supply coming onto the market so we might see more volatility uh, on, on the prices and of course the demand will also to a certain extent be, uh, be uh, dependent on the economic development uh, but it's hard to predict uh, precisely but uh, I think there will be more volatility more challenges on the near, near term and a brighter future looking further ahead in time. BG Group is one of the biggest uh, LNG suppliers uh, in the world, so that is one of our key uh, areas. We are just now completing our major coal bed methane project in Australia, in Queensland. So train one is uh, up and producing at Plateau and train two is in the commissioning phase. We have here today delivered more than 60 cargoes from that uh, uh, project. So that's priority number one. And then we are a big off taker of uh, Sabine Pass, which will be the first uh, LNG project out of uh, the United States. And beyond that, we have a number of other options for the long term.